everyone. Uh, this is Dr. Khan from Executive Plastic Surgery, uh, Michigan. I want to go ahead and update my listeners, my viewers, and any potential patients in regards to the study I did with Dr. Henry uh, Dykman. This is the set of implants that I sent over to the Netherlands via FedEx uh, a couple weeks ago, and these are a set of implants, McGann 510 cc's, uh, in a 47-year-old patient uh, who had them for 21 years, the one and only set. And so the implants were sent over and Dr. Henry Dykman took the saline and centrifuged it for 60 minutes at 11,000 rotations per minute at high RPM rotations per minute. And then evaluated what was the 50 microliters of sediment pellet that basically uh, was collected. And as uh, I expected and anticipated, there was silicon breakdown products of the saline implant collected at the bottom, which is exactly uh, the spheres of silicon, the breakdown products that are not only being released into the saline, but also released to the outside, to the periphery and to the body. And this is that slime that you see me show that is present in intact saline implants and intact silicon implants. And this is what the body is fighting. And so this is a very important discovery, the first of its kind, never before, at least to my knowledge, shown. We're going to have our guest on the 8th of December, Dr. Henry Dykman. He is going to tell us exactly how he analyzed the saline implants, what exactly he did, how he definitively concluded under electron microscopy that this is exactly what he saw and that this study is the first of its kind and it should be reproduced and it continues to basically enhance and tell us uh, definitively that the implants are breaking down, the gel bleed is occurring and continuing to hurt and haunt the body of uh, the basically many toxicities that the silicon implants cause. This is Dr. Khan, again, December 8th um, at 3 p.m. We're going to have our guest, uh, Dr. Henry Dykman, who is going to basically share with us from his expertise and experience as to what are uh, the findings of the study that he did and what is his conclusion, not only for saline implants, but also for silicon from this uh, 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 study that we did. Thank you again. This is Dr. Khan from Executive Plastic Surgery.